Hello, and welcome to the Brain Bread 2 tutorial. I'm here to help you learn the very basics of the game. Ah! This part of the ah! tutorial is the human training. Now, let me remove the barrier in front of you so you can continue. I know, I know, the basic movement training, but we gotta do it, alright? We have to make sure you know all the controls before jumping into a gunfight, or, well, a zombie fight. Anyway, let's continue. I'll remove the barrier now. Crouch under the vent. Nice work. Climb up this ladder. Jump over the gap. Nice work. Now, for some of the tricky parts. Here you need to jump crouch. Nice work. Use your sliding ability. Can't make the gap? Then spend some points on the sliding ability by hitting F1 to pull up your nice work. Now the room ahead has no lot sources, so use your flashlight to navigate the room. Good job. Alright, sometimes you can't reach a certain area by just jumping up to it, which require you to jump crouch. Of course, it's impossible with the current jump height you have currently. So once again, let's open up the human skill tree so you can invest your points into the jumping ability under the agility section. Remember, by combining jump and speed ability, you can reach further distances, but sometimes you have to also jump crouch to reach them. Now, for the firearms training. All weapons except the super weapons, or special weapons, require a certain level to pick up the weapon. But for the sake of this tutorial, you have been set to level 100. The AI's damage and health will increase the more people that join the server. That means the difficulty will increase, but they will not become overpowered. Once you are ready, press the button in the middle to begin.
Congratulations! You have completed the human training. Go ahead and move forward to the next section to learn the basics of zombie training. Welcome to the zombie training. Player zombies and human players are almost the same. But the only thing that split them apart is that zombies have zombie vision and a different skill system. Do note the zombie skills do not save, as they are map based and temporary. But you get points by killing human players or AI. Here, kill these military officers to obtain some points.
As you can see, the AI humans only give you one point per kill, while the human players give you two points per kill. Now it's time for the zombie vision. The zombie vision lets you see in the dark, and all lit areas will be very bright. So don't use it in broad daylight, trust me, you don't want to do that. And another feature the zombies have is this. Zombies can always see where players are at with this mouth icon. This is for sneak attacking the humans, so you can feast on their brains! By surprise, of course. Well, that is pretty much it for the zombie. Have fun playing Brave Red 2.